Yeah, let me ask you a couple of nitty gritty questions, okay? Let's say a person says, I want to do this. How do they start? Uh, I think there are a lot of factors that, that are involved, but the first one is prayer. Jesus, before picking any of his disciples, spent a season in prayer. And so begin with prayer. And, and then I would just encourage people to find someone they already know. We don't say, uh, come join us in the fellowship hall today after church and sign up for the discipleship group because we want it to be more organic because we want people you live with, people you know. Now here's what you should not do, I, I don't recommend doing is, you, you don't wanna go up to someone, particularly someone older than you and say, hey, John, do you think you'd be interested in me discipling you? That, that normally doesn't work most of the time. So, so you say, hey, listen, kind of like David did with me. Would you be interested in studying the Bible, memorizing scripture, meeting once a week, living life together? And you'll be surprised at how many people will say yes to that when you, when you start it with prayer and then take action. Uh, you will be surprised. What is the goal of a discipleship group? I think the goal of the discipleship group is to be more like Christ, uh, to be conformed to the image of Christ, to replicate that in the life of another person. I, I said this earlier, but I think discipleship without replication is not discipleship at all. Because if the meeting just consists of you learning and, and studying the Bible, which is great, and there's a season for that, and there's a place for that, uh, then it just becomes a Bible study. And you know as well as I that we have a lot of Bible studies, uh, and those are good, and, and the discipleship is centered around the Word, but we need replication. And so meeting around the Word, studying the Bible, living out the commands of Christ, and then teaching those disciples to replicate the process with others. So you ask people in these discipleship groups to give you a year to 18 months to meet together, and then when they're done, that they would go out and start a group themselves. Yeah, and we tell them that up front. Uh, so we, 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 we sign a covenant when we meet together uh, and just lay out some of the ground rules because we realize that the two reasons why people don't make disciples, and this is what I, I believe. The first one is they've never been discipled. It's difficult, it's really difficult to take someone on a journey you've never been on. And the second reason is this, is that when you don't know what to do, which I feel a lot of people would say, well, we don't know what to do, they don't do anything at all. And so I, I think there are a lot of resources out there that can help people in the process, but I know this about discipleship. The first step is the hardest, but once you take the first step, you'll see it's life-changing.